بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة Hi guys, how are you? I wish you are okay. I wish you safe, inshallah. Uh, this is Sammy Mahmoud, science teacher, and this is lesson number two. Our lesson today, guys, in unit, in unit number three, is about matter is made of particles. Matter is made of particles. Last time, guys, we spoke about three types of uh, matter. And we understand that we divide them to solid, liquid, and gas. Before we start our lesson today, uh, I have a small activity. Please look, look carefully at this three uh, picture or three uh, shapes and think about the difference between them. So, as you can see here, guys, the first one, uh, it's made up of small uh, points or a small particle or a small uh, size uh, this is the shape of all matter around us or this is the particles you can see it here they are very near or they are closely together and here little bit closely but there is some species here as you can see it and in the third one they are far away you can see this particles is here and this one is here that one is here and uh, there is a lot of space between them so this is the three type of matter before we start explaining our lesson today do you think which one is solid from uh, the three shapes which one is liquid and which one is gas which one is um, uh, we can consider them as liquid or solid or gas I think it's very easy of course as you can see here this one is solid this one is liquid and that one is gas okay our objectives today guys is we need to know that first one all matter is made up of particles number two we need to know we need to know or understand that solid keep their shape as particles do not change position and we understand the two objectives in our lesson in short let's start first of all we need to know what we mean by particle particle is a very as you can see here, this is the definition of particle. Particle is a very small part of something. A very small part of something. Uh, we have a lot of pictures here, different type of matter. Milk, coke, balloon, and folks, all of them. So this model says that all matter is made up of particles so all this matter around us as you can see them here in picture they are made up of particles but we cannot see this particles why because it's very 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 small and we cannot see it by our eyes we need a microscope to uh, uh, see them so in real life the particles in matter are too small to see. In the model, we can show the particle, the particles as little poles, as we saw it in uh, uh, the first picture here. The very small point here. We will consider them as particles, and we also we can see them here. So the particles in matter are. Uh, always moving even in things that look still what we mean by that uh, all particles here or the small point even if it if it is in the uh, solids it can move uh, but it's different what we mean by that as we know that this is a particles of a solid and this is a particles of liquid and this is a particles of gas all of them they are moving but the movement here in solid 
Of course, it will not be seen uh, the movement in uh, liquid, and absolutely it will be different than the movement of gas. So, which one will move faster freely in everywhere? Which one? Solid or liquid or gas? Of course, it will be gas. Okay. And the liquid can move, but it will not move same like gas. It will move slowly. And in solid, it will move in its place. It cannot move to another place or take another uh, place to move on it. Uh, so, and this is the reason that it will be hard for you to uh, change the shape of anything solid like wood, metal, plastic. Uh, you need a lot of power to do it. But the liquid, I think you don't need anything. Just put the water in a bottle or in a cup or something like that. So the, the shape of water will be same or the same shape of the container. Uh, so the water will take the shape of the bottle or take the, the shape of the glass, something like that. And the gas can move freely in everywhere. Just if you have a perfume or something and you spread it, it will move everywhere. Okay. We have a small activity here, guys. I need you to draw uh, the 10 particles in each box below to represent a solid or a liquid and a gas. We have solid, liquid, gas, and I need you to draw uh, 10 particles to tell me which one is solid, or how, how it looks like, uh, and the liquid, same thing, and gas also. So if we need to draw it, we'll draw it like this. I'll do it for you. Here we are, a little bit smaller. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is solid. Uh, I put them together in one place, connected together. Uh, and this is what we mean by the particle will be very closely. Okay. If we do it for uh, liquid, it will be a little different. Like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the shape of the particles in liquid and in gas it will be like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is the uh, particles represent solid, how it's look like, and this is a liquid. There is a small uh, distance between the particles and this is a gas. There is a huge distance between them so they can move freely and also we have another activity here guys uh, the particles game uh, divided into uh, divided into groups um, uh, if if you imagine that this is you uh, each one of you in your classes this is a particle and this is another one and this is another one and we need to to play a game this game this game we need to uh, divide it ourselves to solid liquid and gas how can we do it? As you can see the shape here. Solid will be connected together. As you can see, they are very closely. Okay, and this is a liquid. There is a space between them, but they are still connected together. And again, they are moving freely. They are far away from each other. Okay, so uh, this is what I need you to know today. What is the difference between solid, liquid, and gas as a particles, and the uh, the shape each one of them? Thank you so much, uh, my dear student. Wish you all the best, inshallah, and see you soon.